Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily Apple report for Wednesday, April 12th, 2023. Before I click through all the charts, uh, please click like if you would uh, and subscribe to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel. Uh, it'll provide you notification each and every time new content has been uploaded. That includes the daily Apple and daily Tesla report. So uh, taking a look at this chart, weekly chart, in early January, we came off of what was a targeted support region in the low 120s at that point in time, mentioning how the lower 170s should be considered in reach by some point in 23. About a month later, we gapped and closed above this descending channel top, now at 136.73, indicating a three to five month month objective at 171.64, which remains intact. In fact, we are still in a two to three week target above this 154.89 to 157.97 area of this rising one third speed line based in part on last week's high and this long term former descending two third speed line projected off the all time high back in uh, late 21. So this area mid to upper 150s and narrowing uh, is able to contain selling through April and into May, even through May, because once tested, it could take every bit of three to five weeks to reach 171.64. So this is the bottom picking zone. You may already be long based on recent buy signals, but if you are already and your time horizon is two to three weeks, three to five weeks, this would be an area to go long Apple between 154.89 and 157.97. That could mean as we dip into this zone, if we dip into this zone, reaching for 170 out of the money calls that don't expire for at least a couple of months, or it could just mean buying the stock itself. Now, if we were to close below 154.89 in the coming days, that would be a significant sell signal event, no longer anticipating the upper sorry, the lower 170s soon. Uh, eventually we may, but I think we could unwind in a significant way. Um, I'm not sure about the low 130s anymore. Uh, we will have to take a fresh look at the chart to see what else is happening. There'd also be a rising two-thirds speed line. There's going to be channel formations. And so as we dip into this area, we will get on all that in terms of what are the consequences for possibly closing below 154.89. But until then, the market remains bullish as we move into May trade above this zone. This is a good bottom picking, uh, bottom picking territory. So let's take a look look at um, what chart do I want to show? I want to show you this one. This is our support for the day. Now, we did close pretty much right at this formation. Uh, there's no sell signal coming into the day. If we open at or above 161.20, which is, you know, we closed at 160.80, 160.78, something like that. Um, if And it'd be quite easy for us to open at or above 161.20. And if we do, then we can rally to at least this 162.54 short-term channel top where we can top out for the day. So really, if we open at or above 161.20, that is the day trade up to 162.54, where profits could be taken. If we push through 162.54 today, I think 165.11 is in reach, and that is the low of the high. I like it as a session containment level because of it, number one, it's distance from present price activity. This market's only gonna go so high in a single day. If we push through 162.54, 165.11 is realistic. It also is um, consistent with the, the two daily highs that followed that. There is a bit of a gap here on one of these. So I like 165.11 as a profit-taking area if you got long above 162.54. If you like the Daily Apple Report, a WickedStocks.com membership delivers regular daily video analysis in both the SPY and the Triple Q. Weekly video analysis in the S&P 500 Index, the NASDAQ 100 Index, and a U.S. Treasury ETF, and two individual stock pick videos every week. Do yourself a favor and check out our other content by clicking the link below. In terms of setting a short to hold overnight, not crazy about that given the overall still bullish dynamic by one measure above 161.20 as we move into later week. Now, if we break or open today below 161.20, yes, we've got 160.49. I think there'll be some trouble there on the way down. And that is that long-term 5.8's Fibonacci. This is, um, this line should be a little lower. I'm just kind of 
being picky about that because it looks like we're right at it and it's actually a little lower. So, you know, what I'm saying is if we, um, let me go back to this chart here. If we break or open below 160.120, that 160.49 Fibonacci level in reach, but I do think if we break or open below 160.120, the day trade is selling it down to 158.52. Uh, I don't even have that level marked here. I've got 159.10, uh, that is another level. I could add 158.52. In fact, I will add 158.52 uh, before um, uh, before you download this. If you download these every day, and just so you know, these this is available on our website every single day. You can download this PDF file and have it for yourself. You can click on all these charts. I don't know if you know that or not. That's also true of the Tesla report, and it's free. And it doesn't require that you give us any information or anything. It's there for you yours to have. If we break or open below 160.120, 158.52 in reach. Now, it's getting really crowded down here, just so you know. Um, you've got 159.10, 158.52, 157.97, that long-term descending speed line. You've got 157. Where are you? That's not it. 150. No, that's not it either. All kinds of 157.95, the 157.95 to 97 area. This is a big support zone. You could make a case that if we break or open below 161.20 today. Yes, 158.52 is there, but it really is more like 157.95 to 97, I think, could be in reach. This, once again, is the beginning of a zone of longer-term support that can absorb selling through May. So the day trade turns bearish below 161.20. You can take profits uh, in the 157 handle. Not only take profits, but even enter a long position, as I mentioned. If we, as we put break into the 157 handle, 157.95, all the way down to 154.89, this is the area that once tested those calls, those out of money calls at 170 will get a little cheaper and they'd be worth, I think, buying until or unless we close below 154.89. Then you're holding out for a rally into the low 170s where profits can be taken. If we close below 154.89 today, and I don't see that happening. And if you bought those 170 out of the money calls, uh, you should liquidate those. Uh, but, um, you know, should you then buy 135 out of the money puts? You could. Uh, I don't know if we'll get all the way down there. And once again, if we dip into this zone here over the next few days, uh, I will uh, start adding lower support levels that you can anticipate. And I'll obviously describe them in this uh, video series. Um, I think I can go through it one more time, uh, and that is, bear with me, uh, 162.54 is our intraday resistance, 161.20 is our day support, above which 162.54 in reach. If we push through 162.54, 165.11 in reach by the closing bell. Downside, breaking 161.20, there's a series of support levels that actually begins at 159.10, and then you've got 158.52, and then you've got 157.97. <laughs> I mean, it really is. I think what I like to do is just hold out for the big level. So if we break or open below 161.20, um, yes, 158.52 is valid, uh, but I actually like holding out for this 157.95 to 157.97 area. This is a zone that can absorb selling once again through May. And once tested, we can round back up to new highs into the low 170s within three to five weeks. I think I pretty much covered it for the day. Uh, that's all I've got for Wednesday's Daily Apple Report. I'll be back again, of course, with Thursdays tomorrow. You have a great evening.